Now, though, it's time to look ahead to a massive game this Sunday. Well, we've certainly got a title race on now. To Saka, edge of the penalty area, goes past, left foot is right, the ball into the top left-hand corner of the net. Liverpool come back once more, right foot in effort, brilliant. That's a stunning goal. Magnificently finished by Dominic Soberschlein. In this moment in time, we're for top of the table, so how could you get, can you get there if the boys are not uh, performing on a pretty high level? Arsenal are still there. They're not going away lightly, they're not going to be shrugged off. We do enjoy it, we have to enjoy it, and we really need to embrace the moment. I think Arsenal really need to win this game. Arsenal away from home on Sunday, and what could be a defining game in the season so far? The next massive game is coming up. Perfection, because that's what this last level demands, is absolute perfection in every, every second ball. The belief has to return this weekend. Let's give it a go. Yes, a massive game. Arsenal entertain Liverpool this coming Sunday. Five points separate the two teams. Liverpool on top. They were brilliant midweek. We'll talk about it a little bit later on. Arsenal had their little wobble. They had their little blip. Looks like they got back on the horse. Me personally, I do not think this is a must-win game for Arsenal. I know Rory doesn't agree with that. I think it's a must-not-lose game. I think if Liverpool to win it, I think that does probably put Arsenal's title hopes well and truly to the sword. But... Not win. There's a lot of points. There's a lot of games. There's a lot that's going to happen between now and the end of the season. Darwin Nunes looks like he's a doubt after injuring his foot against Chelsea. Probably, I mean, how many shots and efforts he could have on uh, on, the, on target without hitting the actual back of the net. Arsenal, though, have beaten Liverpool just once in 90 minutes in 12 attempts. They won twice uh, of those, though, on penalties. Rory, you reckon it's a must-win game for Arsenal. They're at home. They will feel, Arsenal fans would love to hear what they think, is it a must-win game? I personally feel at this stage of the season, 22 games played by the both. This will be the 23rd. If Arsenal were to lose it, and I'm not saying that, that, that Arsenal are going to go into this game not trying to lose it, but I think the most important result, and I've, I've got to be honest, I think privately, both managers, if they come away with a point, won't be disappointed. I think both will be incredibly disappointed. Wowzers. I think both... But if you look at the form that Liverpool are in, Liverpool can beat anybody at the moment. They really do feel like they've got the bit between their teeth. I think they've been invigorated by the Jurgen Klopp announcement. And Liverpool will be looking at this game thinking that they are totally capable of winning it. They, they're winning every game that they play. You look at their record. I think the only game that they haven't won is the draw where they drew with Fulham, but they progressed to the League Cup final anyway, so they didn't care. They got what they wanted out of the fixture. Yeah, there was a weekend team. Yeah, right? they got what they wanted out of the fixture. So they, effectively, they won on the night. So... So the form that they're in, they looked sensational against Chelsea. They really did. Like that game finished four one to Liverpool, and Chelsea would have been happy with the scoreline. Like that's how good they were. They were unplayable. We didn't, we couldn't lay a finger on them. Chelsea. Yeah, we couldn't lay a finger on them. They were, they really were brilliant. And the way that they were knocking the ball about, the 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 way that they now have managed to almost improve their squad without going into the transfer market. They now have quite a deep squad because Connor Bradley comes through, which means Trent Alexander-Arnold is another option in midfield if they need it. They are just looking like a perfect team. They really are looking looking solid. And they'll be going to Arsenal, certainly thinking that they can win. Of course. There's certainly... But, and, but, but, but a point would... But this is a tough game for both. I know it's a tough game for Liverpool. When you look at the teams that Arsenal have lost to at home, when you look at the way that... Ar the fact that West Ham United went to Arsenal and won... Pretty much at a canter. Yeah, but Arsenal, but Liverpool weren't going to play that way. Arsenal, West Ham went there and they tried to soak up pressure. Mm -hmm. Arsenal had lots of shots, lots of. Liverpool won't play like that. It, it should be, I think, for the neutral, this should be one of those games where you go, anyone could win it. This could be anything. If Arsenal win it, no one, no one will be shocked. If Liverpool draw, yep. They put the ball in Manchester City's court. Yes, but this is a tough game. It's a, it's, this, this, it certainly this is, is a tough game. It's a, it's a, I think it's a 50 50. I personally oh, no think. No way is it a 50 50 yeah, I game. Think it is. What you think? You think Liverpool are as likely to get a result as Arsenal? Yeah, I don't I yeah. think Liverpool are very likely to get a result, and I will be shocked at, if Arsenal. If it was at Anfield, I would totally agree with you. But I think the fact that it's at Arsenal, I genuinely feel that this is a game that. I mean, if it's a draw, you no, you're not gonna, you wouldn't fall down for it. What? It, this is a game that I think both sides feel they can win, understandably. Mm. But this is a tough one to call. It's, I think it's a I, tough one. Weirdly, Jason, I, I completely disagree with you. I don't think it's tough to call at all. I just think Liverpool win this game fairly, fairly convincingly. I really do. Wow. I really I, do. I, I, Arsenal haven't been impressive of late. No, you know, you've got to remember there's two London derby losses. They lost very recently yes, to West but, Ham United and Fulham. But are Arsenal, Arsenal are the sort of side that I historically will tell you they can drop points like they can in big games at the moment. It feels to me as if Arsenal rock up. 
it does feel like that. I mean, that's that's an interesting angle. I would say that in certain big games, like I think, even though Chelsea are dreadful at the moment. Going to Stamford Bridge why is still got, a big why, game, why isn't why it? Bring well, the reason I'm bringing why, it up is because I think that, that Arsenal were, were distinctly average, and the reason that Arsenal got anything out of the game at Stamford Bridge was because Mauricio Pochettino made a pig's ear of the tactics. Nothing to do with yeah, Arsenal that, being that brilliant. Was, that was months ago. We could have beat. We drew with Liverpool. We yeah, were the side sex. I mean, yeah. that, 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 both sides are different now. From when they played Chelsea early in the season, Liverpool have gone one way. Arsenal have gone one way. Chelsea have gone nowhere. But I'm trying to think of the big games. Like, so you're saying they're good in big games. I, th- I can remember them getting beat away at St James's Park. They went up to Newcastle. They got beat. They went to Villa Park. They got beat. They went to Stamford Bridge. They got a point where they and you know getting a point at Stamford Bridge is fairly par for the course now. Okay, they beat Manchester City. They finally beat Manchester Manchester City at what the thirteenth attempt. I don't think that Liverpool will be looking at this game feeling particularly. If it's nailed on, look at the, look at the game they nailed, played in the is cup. Is it nailed on? It's, is it nailed on? Look at what happened when they played in the cup. Is it nailed it's on? It's nailed on. Liverpool win this game. I can't see a world in which they don't. And if they do, and if they do, if I'm correct, if my prediction here is correct, and I'm famed for good predictions, if my prediction here is correct, there is there is no way that Arsenal can win the league. And that is why it's a must-win game for Arsenal. Not, not only do Arsenal need the three points, but they need the statement of beating Liverpool off the back of what happened when they played Fulham and West Ham recently. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Me personally, I think this is a tough one to call. Rory is adamant that Liverpool go there as further. Look, I get it. Liverpool right now, the best side I've seen this season. Of Liverpool and there's a reason they're top of the table of course there is Arsenal have had their blip they've, they've, they've dropped the ball at home a couple of times in recent weeks I personally think that Arsenal will rock up for this a draw for me so Arsenal fans what do you think 0371722334 Liverpool fans what do you think now after Ben White and Alexander Zinchenko reporting a little bit of a row after Arsenal's win at Forest in the week boss Mikhail Eteta says the pair have made up now they've had a hug and kiss They've been in the same house for the last three days, sharing wives and everything. So <laughs> that's fine. They live. They live. In, they live in together. They live in together now. They are best mates. You don't argue with somebody. You don't have a, a great relationship. You know that happens because you have the trust and and you have the chemistry with somebody to to react the way you did. They've been in the same house for the last three days, sharing yes. wives and everything. So <laughs> that's fine. They live. They live. In, they live in together. They live in together now. They are best mates. You don't argue with somebody. You don't have. A, uh, uh, what? 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 I mean, listen, I'm going to cut in some slack. It's not his native tongue. Lost in translation. But I want to hear it one more time. This is what he said. They've been in the same house for the last three days, sharing wives and everything. Ah, come on! I'm going That's to, fine. Do you know? Do you they know? Live, they live in, they live in Cut, listen, stop talking, Mikel. Stop talking. You're digging yourself up. No, I, I, I'm going to cut him this little bit of slack here, Rory. Right? Mm-hmm. He's, he's, it's lost in translation. When he said he's sharing, why? Well, you know, it may be sharing, going out with meals. I mean, I think... Why what are you he, shaking your head at me? I don't think that's what he meant. I think he, what, what he meant... What do you think he meant? I think he meant exactly the words that he no, said. No, come on. He did not. I think he was making a joke. I'm not no. suggesting that it's happening. No, but I think the joke that he's making no. is that they're that friendly no. that it's no. car, car keys in a, no, in a dish kind of... Car, no, there's no car way keys, he meant... Room keys. No, there's no way he said that. He's not meant that. I, I, think we, I think it's only fair and right that we say, and call this out now for what it is, it got lost in translation. He tried to say other things. There's no way he said that. No, I don't think it's happening. For what, I'm not for one second <laughs> suggesting that Zinchenko is a wife swapper. I am suggesting, however, that that was the joke that was being made. Right, OK. Well, but that, uh, they're the words that he said, Jack. I'm not putting I, words in his mouth. These are literally the words that were in Rory, his mouth. if you were to speak Spanish, you may well get your turds wangled. No, I would. I certainly would. But... I think Mikel Arteta, considering partly how long... Like, when we've heard him speak, he's a very erudite, articulate no, he, man. No, completely. He's a raconteur, almost. No, he, but, he knows what he's saying. He's very good at English. No. He knows exactly what he's saying. Okay, he's saying... Let, OK, let's move on. He's I'm, saying... I'm, I'm starting to feel a bit uncomfortable. Unless, unless he's told us no, the truth. Rory, no. He could have Rory. told us the truth. No, he's not telling us the truth. Do you know, no. I don't... I've, I've had a look. I've, I've, I've got images of... Everybody in question. It's, what it's possible. What do you mean you got images? It's, it's possible. I've got an image here of, of everybody. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Rory's going to show me this image. I, I I'll share it with you a little bit later on. On AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker. Talksport.